Hi, this is Ed Duclo, Tech Content Coach, South Windsor School District. This is the last in the series of whiteboard videos. Um, this won't necessarily be a video that you're creating for your students. This will be um, in conjunction with Google Meet. So let's take a look how this will work. All right, I would go into Google Meet. Do my typical join a meeting. And then if I was doing this for the yearbook staff, our code and continue. Now, once I get this going, I'm actually going to join now. I'm not going to go ahead and share this with any of my students or anything along those lines. Uh, just an FYI, uh, the new features that are open, the new extensions for Google Meet that are now live for both teachers and students. This is grid view right here. And these are my nod reactions. You can see the different things that I can be using for the emojis and things along those lines. This would need to be added for both students and teachers. Anyway, more on that at another time. Let's go ahead and get back to what this is all about. Now, when I'm going to present to my students, let's say they're all in here at this point, I would then present my screen. And I tend to, tend to do a window that'll keep me on one side. I select the screen that I'm going to share, and then I share it. And it reminds me down below that I'm sharing. All right, all right now, it goes through all of this. And this is one of the things I don't like about Google Meet, but I'm sure it's restrictions, is that this is what I'm going to see. My students can now see my screen. All right, let's get back to I want to use a whiteboard while I'm doing this. Well, I can come in here and I can go, oops, I want to go uh, Chrome. And then I want to go Canvas, Chrome Canvas. So right now, they're going to see everything that's on my screen right here. I'm using Screencastify in the back just to capture what I'm doing, but hopefully it doesn't get confusing here. All right, so I am now in um, Canvas. It's a very basic um, board for me. I'm going to do a new drawing. Over here, I can choose my color. I can customize it. I can then choose the size of the font that I want to use. I can use a pencil. I can use a pen marker. Um, chalk. I've never seen chalk before. <laughs> and then you can do the eraser. So I'm going to do the pen here. All right. And it is a touch screen. I mean, the lack of my and touch screen actually is malfunctioning. So I'm just going to do the mouse. And it's a little clunky with the mouse, but not too bad. And, and then I'm good to go. Okay. I can then come up here. I can capture this as an image, save it as an image. And, um, and that's about it. I mean, very, very basic. All right, so that's Canvas. Now, then I can come back here. I can stop sharing. That means I'm stopping sharing my screen. And then when I come back, I'm back with my class. All right. Now, the other um, uh, whiteboard tool that I really like is uh, Jamboard. So let's go back here, window. I'm going to be sharing with my students again. And once that screen gets called up, and you can see this exact same thing. Once I see this, I know that I'm sharing with my my class. The thing I really like about Jamboard, first of all, I'm going to find it here. I'm going to go to the nine dot grid. I'm going to come down below, <clears throat> excuse me, and click on Jamboard. Now, some of the same features, but a lot more. <laughs> I really like this a lot. So I, I don't have any recent jams. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here to the plus and I'm going to add it, add one. Now, a lot of features of Google Drawing. There's a share features. There's a lot going on in Jamboard. Okay, here are some of the tools. This kind of has a Google Keep kind of feel to it. Pen, the eraser, 
I can then I have the select tool, a sticky note, which I really like. I'll show you in a minute. And then I really like the add the image. I just plop an in, image in there. I'm sorry, I didn't show you that with um, Canvas, but you can do that. And then just kind of a laser pointer kind of thing. All right, so a lot of different things that I can do here. And then I can, let's see, I didn't get the, there we go. Um, so you can see I got the pen, I have the marker, I have the highlighter, and then I have the paintbrush as well. So there's a lot of different things and obviously the colors. All right, so but I'm gonna stay with this and then I think I'm good to go. All right, so now same thing, two plus two equals, oops, a terrible one there. Again, much easier to do with your um, touch screen. But now if I wanted to, I could go ahead and put in, you know, and I just save that, and then I can move that around. Oops. All right, and so now this is editable. I can move that. I can um, put anywhere I want. I can resize it if I want. I can actually even do a little turn to it too. Really nice. All right, so I got that. The other thing I can do is I can then come in here and I can add an image nice and easily as well. So if I can do a Google search, I can take it from Drive, I can take it from my photos. So if I'm gonna do, I don't know, let's just do a car. And then I pick one that comes up and I drop it in. Now, same thing as I was doing before, once this gets called up, it is now editable so I can I can shrink it, I can drag it around. I can even come over, I'm pretty sure I can come in here. And if I were to use this, I wanna use the white on this. Yeah, I can then annotate it, I can mark that up. Now, a couple of things that are nice. If I wanna continue my work, all I need to do is go here and it continues, gives me a, um, a blank sheet and then I can come back. Another nice thing there. The other thing that I think puts it over the top is that I can now share it. So if I'm sitting here right now and I have shareable, like right now it's private, it's Google, right? So it's, that's the default. And let me come in here and let's change that and go anyone with a link. And let's say they can edit. Now, if I save that and I come back here and I save this, so I'm gonna copy the, um, the link that I just created. I can come back into my meet. Remember, I'm still doing a meet here. I can come into my chat and I can come down below and I can drop that in there. So now at this point, I'm adding that and you can see it's a hyperlink. Now my students can click on that and guess what? When I'm in here, you guessed it, they're all gonna be able to um, contribute at the same time. Um, I like a lot of things that are here. Some of the typical things I can download as a PDF, save as an image, et cetera, make a copy. I can do a lot. So I've just started to play around with Jamboard a little bit. I know some of you are already starting. Actually, some of the things that you have said that made me uh, really take a look at it. Oh, I can even change the background, which I like a lot. So if you're gonna be doing math, you can change it into grid. I can change it into line paper. I can do just about anything I want. They have so many different features here. And then when I come back here, I remember I stopped sharing the screen and I'm back with my class. So hopefully this has been helpful, just trying to point out a couple whiteboard tools that you could be using. Um, also, if you wanted this to be a video, you could have just like I'm doing right now, Screencastify running in the background and you have the whole thing captured. And you wouldn't even be needing to use Google Meet, of course, okay? I, I just wanted to be able to show you how you can blend two things together. Hopefully this has been helpful. Have yourself a great day.